just leaving for Edinburgh. Taxi guys here. Off we go. So just got to Stansted, uh, just waiting for Judda to get here, it was quite nice, flights at 1.15, easy jet, could have gone British Airways but they didn't have one at Stansted um, and it was cheaper. So yeah, going to Edinburgh today, we will chill out for a bit, maybe get a little workout in and then tomorrow we're meeting up with Lucy Saul who is going to be doing some videos and photos for our female guide so looking forward to that and then on Sunday I will be doing my talk on how to set up a profitable online personal training business for Origin Fitness and Power Summit so yeah looking forward to it last weekend was Dublin this weekend is Edinburgh next weekend is chill time with the family Follow me, MTV Cribs, major foul. So this is the room, there's Judder, and that's where I'll be sleeping. Let me go and take you to our ensuite bathroom, see what we got. This is the first time I've actually been in here. Oh, nice noise. Mm, I don't know, Lawrence. Oh, as you can see, top of the range shower. Nice, we got hair and body wash, we're good. Because they wouldn't let me bring that through. Yep, yeah, there's one towel there. Not only do they want us to share a bed, they also want us to share a towel. Um, yeah, as you can see, we've got the state of the art aircon. Also known as a fan. And uh, yeah. So Lawrence has just gone to the gym. I'm not gonna train today, we've got some bad leg dom, so uh, gonna wait till tomorrow and then hit more upper body and maybe some hamstrings because if you don't know, you now know because this is official. I've put it on Snapchat and some close friends know but next September, I'm gonna be stepping on stage. Uh, it won't be wearing the long board shorts. It won't be dressing up and having a fancy dress round. It will actually be natural bodybuilding. So yeah. Dieting a little bit now, I've got a holiday in about a month, so quite a moderate a deficit at the moment. Not tracking macros, yes, you can still drop weight and get lean uh, without tracking macros. I'm not saying you can't, uh, you can do it or it'd be as effective when it comes to getting closer to show day. Obviously, I'm going to be tracking all of the macros then. Eric Helms calling him out, he uh, said that he will prep me. And it sort of come around in the Shredded by Science Academy Facebook group when it was Ask the LJs and we got the Academy students to ask me questions on my birthday. And someone said, if you get to 20,000 Facebook followers by the end of 2016, will you step on stage? So I've said, yeah, I do it. And part of the question as well was, will Eric Helms prep you? Eric agreed, I said I'm game. Um, I could quite easily <laughs> turn it so that the Facebook page isn't visible in certain countries or certain age ranges. So I, 
if I really didn't want to get on stage, I could quite easily reduce the growth of the page, which is not going to happen. So yeah, but I think the the bit which turned it for me was when the 3DMJ conference and Stephen Box kindly enough got into his boxer shorts and Jeff Alberts actually done some posing um, coaching with Stephen and it weren't until then when I saw Stephen looking quite small because obviously he's dieting down he was only about a month out from competing himself and when Jeff was just giving him some little tweaks here and there his body was looking from someone who looked like um, he dieted for a long period of time to actually looking quite muscular just for use a few tweaks so I think being there in person and having Jeff going through the pose and stuff really like tweaked something in me and I was like I want a bit of that and most people would be like why do you need to compete now Luke because you're the founder of Shredded by Science you're going down more of the trainer education route rather than actually online clients even though we do still have online clients and main focus now is looking at online education for personal trainers and I wanted to do it because no one expects me to do it now and I've always competed from a very very young age in karate or basketball or whatever it was and since the age of 16 17 maybe a little bit older because I was doing basketball in sixth form so say from about 18 years of age I've never had something to really focus on competing at and I'm not in a, any delusional state where I think I'm going to get on stage I'm going to be the best natural bodybuilder in the world because that is not the case but having something to focus on uh, is going to be key to sticking and following the process and then once um, I do get round to getting closer to really really low levels of body fats it's going to be an experience it's going to be most people will be like why would you want to do that it looks sick not sick in a good way like that type of sick and it would just be to just push your body to the limit and not only psychologically but physically as well so I'm really looking forward to it so that's going to be uh, next September around that time that I'll be getting on stage and my only criteria is to have striated glutes because whether I compete and get the bug for it I don't know as it stands I'm looking to just compete once and seeing how I go but if I'm going to get on stage and just get on stage once I need to have striated glutes that is a must have so I will be vlogging it you will be uh, seeing me on snapchat again you can probably see on snapchat already a, a tweak in the types of food I'm eating I'm purposely snapping my food as well because back in the day it was twitter and I remember when I used to do the hashtag tweet what you eat um, so yeah if you're not following me on snapchat uh, at shred by science and you'll get to see all the behind the scenes uh, what most fitness professionals don't want you to see because most of the time fitness people tend to just want to post what they want people to see like on the instagram with the saturation at level 30 and this here and that there so yeah if you're not on snapchat or you're not following me or shredded by science on snapchat head over to their at shred by science and get to see the whole process nothing will be left out i can guarantee that